even the ones we cherish, inevitably dies. Nolan? Here. Do you hear me screaming for you? I was doing my morning hydrotherapy. I just saw Patrick leaving. I thought you were in trouble. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Last night was our first night together. Well, it's good that it just started. Because it has to end. Because he tried to rid the world of Conrad. Grace envisions that guy's demise dancing in your head 24-7. An innocent man died instead. Patrick is a criminal. Yeah, not the Patrick I know. You don't know him well enough to say that. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Are you telling me how to feel? I am telling you to be rational. What do you even see in this guy? Someone who wants to fit in here, but doesn't. I'm someone like me. We kept us a secret for a reason. Patrick and I didn't want to get caught up in the crossfire between you and Victoria. So what happens now? It's your next takedown. I haven't decided. I wish things were different, Nolan. You're good with a knife. Yeah, well, slaved away in enough restaurants. Well, then you're invited to one that'll treat you like a king. The Spruce Step Stowaway premieres tomorrow. The drinks are on me. Well, thank you, Charlotte. I appreciate that. I'll have to see how I feel, though. I'm coming off a pretty late night. So late you didn't come home. May I have a word? Yeah, sure. Excuse me. We have pressing matters to discuss. Go to the gallery, and I'll arrive shortly. Right? Okay. Get the windows in. And uh, Nolan, that is call number three. If it gets to four, I'm calling the cops. What is it? Conrad sold my Hamptons estate. Did it just to hurt you, I bet? For the last time. From now on, I vow to be free of him. And how can I help? Allow me to put the gallery and its contents in your name. That way, he can never profit from our hard work. You trust me with this? My entire future is now in your reliable hands. And I'll do everything I can to protect it. I know you will, Patrick. Just as I know what you've done. You tried to take Conrad's life. You don't need to deny it. That bastard humiliates you. Every chance he gets, he treats you with nothing but hate. I couldn't stand by and let him get away with that. I, I'm not going to apologize for wanting him dead. But you got to believe me. I, I never meant for an innocent man to die. Conrad put Father Paul in that car, not you. You tried to spare me from a monster. It's an act of pure selflessness, and one I will always cherish. So what now? Does Conrad know? No, he never will. You made sure of that. You're safe. I love you, Mom. You never called me that before. <laughs>